Congratulations on your new purchase and welcome to the Lyric family. We hope you're super stoked to get riding on your Lyric graffiti. This video is a quick overview of how to assemble the bike. It's nice and easy, so let's get started. You're gonna start by taking everything out of the box. To do so, lay the box down gently on its side and then slide the bike out onto the floor. If you notice any damage, please take photos of the box, the box label and the damaged items and then fill out the support form on our website so that we can help you out with that. Next, you wanna verify the box contents. There should be the bike and four smaller boxes. One small box with the battery charger, one small box with the pedals and hardware, and then two medium boxes with the batteries. You should also have two sets of keys, each ring with two keys. So four total if you got the dual battery, two keys on one ring if you got the single battery. And these are taped to the batteries themselves. Next, we're going to prepare to assemble. So grab your tools. You're going to need scissors, wire cutters, or an X-Acto knife for removing the packaging, a 15 millimeter wrench, and a set of metric hex wrenches. Lay the bike on its side and cut off all the ties and padding. The handlebar is attached to the frame, so be careful not to pull the wires and be careful with the display and the display wiring as you're doing all of this. Organize yourself into piles. You can have your batteries and charger together, your front fender and wheel, your pedals, and then as I said, your handlebar is attached to the bike. Now that we're organized, we can begin actually assembling the bike. So the first step is to install the front fender. So you wanna keep the bike laying flat on the ground to do this. First, remove the bolts and set them to the side. Next, place the fender in place and install the middle bolt first. You just want to hand tighten these in and don't fully tighten them just yet. Next, you can do the two side bolts on either side and once again, don't fully tighten them. Once all bolts are in place, you should still be able to wiggle the front fender like so. Now we're ready to put the front wheel on. You'll need access to the left side of the bike. So if the bike isn't already laying on its right side, you can flip it over now. Using a hex wrench, unscrew the axle bolt to remove it from the front hub and then remove the axle from the front fork and you can set these pieces aside. Next, remove the protector in the front brake and then also remove the piece of cardboard from the brake caliper space. After this is removed, it's important not to squeeze the brake levers until the front wheel is installed. Otherwise, the calipers will close and you'll have to pry them apart. Now you want to slide the wheel into place. So this part requires a bit of precision. So line the disc up with the front brake caliper. And once it's in place, ensure the axle is lined up with the hole in the hub. Once you have this lined up, you can put the axle through. Now there's two flat spaces on the bolt and they're going to fit into the flat spaces on the other end of the axle. So hold this into place as you put the Allen key into the top of the axle and screw it on. And you can screw this fully in and fully tighten it at this time. Once you're done that, you can stand the bike up with the kickstand. Now that we've got the wheel on, we can complete the front fender install. So move the fender up and down to the desired height. You just want to make sure that you have consistent spacing around the tire. If you're using off-road tires, you may want to leave a bit more space. So tighten the center bolt to secure it in place and then go ahead and tighten the side bolts in place as well. Next, we're moving on to the handlebar installation. Start by removing the four bolts from the top of the stem. As you remove each, you can simply place it back into the top of the stem and keep it close by. Loosen the bolts on the side of the display so it can move freely. Rest the handlebar in the bottom of the stem and ensure the front of the handlebars are facing forward. The brake levers should be at the front of the bike. You also want to make sure that the wires are not twisted. Hold the handlebar in place with one hand and put the top of the stem with the four bolts back on top. Hand screw them into place and adjust the handlebar to ensure it's straight. Tighten them until they're just tight enough to hold the handlebar straight up and down. 
Next, take a seat on the bike and adjust the handlebar forward or backwards to a position that feels comfortable for you. While still sitting on the bike, tighten the bolts the rest of the way to ensure it stays in place. Once again, while still seated on the bike, you can adjust the display to the desirable position and then re-tighten the bolts on the side. Next up, we're installing the pedals. Identify the R and the L on the pedals. If you're standing over the bike, the R pedal should be on your right side and the L should be on the left. Hand screw on to get started. The right pedal threads differently than the left. The right will be clockwise and the left will be counterclockwise. Once you have them hand screwed on, you're going to grab your 15 millimeter wrench and tighten completely. Lastly, we'll get the batteries into place. So if you haven't already, you're going to remove the keys. As we mentioned earlier, there are two keys per key ring per battery. The numbers on the keys should match the numbers on the battery. Before riding, we recommend charging the batteries for a full 12 hours on the first charge so you can properly balance the battery. Now to place the battery on the bike, hold the battery over the plate nearly all the way back. There are grooves and once it's in the right place, you'll just need to shift it back slightly and it will connect. Then using the key, you'll lock each battery into place. You wanna get in the habit of locking each battery right after you put it on the bike to ensure that you don't forget because if you do, it might fall out while you're riding. And that's it. Once you're charged up, you're ready for your first ride. Please be sure to thoroughly read through the user manual for quick steps to get started, recommended maintenance and safety tips, plus detailed information on all of the graffiti features. The manuals are online on our website. Please also check out uh, the same online manuals section for other quick videos for common settings like changing from kilometers per hour to miles per hour, enabling off-road mode, setting up a password, accessing the advanced settings, and more. And that's it. You are ready to ride. We hope you love your graffiti and happy riding.